I am back. Hello, everybody. It has been a very long time since I have uploaded anything of value to the channel. That being said, I do have something that is of value that you're watching right now. I'll be showing you how to fix common issues relating to Steam games. Um, the issues you may be facing may include games crashing instantaneously, loading into black screens that require the task manager to close, um, crashing very, you know, randomly while you're playing, and uh, issues that are kind of along that line. Um, I will be using Dino D-Day right here as my example game. Uh, it should be noted, though, that these are what I call broad-spectrum fixes, essentially meaning that these fixes are not game-specific. You can try them on any game. But the reason I tell you this is because there are games that have very specific issues that require very specific fixes. And this video does not go into that. This is just broad-spectrum, can be used on any game-style fixes. Uh, one game, for example, the original Rainbow Six Vegas, I have Rainbow Six Vegas too. The original Rainbow Six Vegas has a couple of game-specific issues that need to be fixed before you can try broad-spectrum fixes. But without that being said, I have five fixes here, and I'm going to be showing you them in order from simplest to most difficult. Now, that being said, none of these are actually difficult. It should be shortest to longest, but, you know. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into our first and most common fix for issues regarding Steam games. Alrighty, the first fix is to verify the game's files, to verify the integrity of the game's files. This, if you check any form, if you've googled any issue you've had regarding Steam games, this is literally the first thing they tell you to do. And it's pretty hit or miss. Sometimes it fixes it, sometimes it doesn't. That's why it's the most common. Well, if you don't know how to do it, I'm going to show you. Go to your game, right-click the title. We are in the Steam library. You can just look up there. Um, you want to go to Properties, Local Files, Verify Integrity of Game Files, like this. It may take a minute, it may be instantaneous. And when it's done, it will either tell you all files successfully validated, or it'll give you a number of how many missing or corrupted files it found, and that they will be reacquired. Now, fun little fact, what it's doing right now, when you verify the integrity of the game files, is it's actually comparing the files on your hard drive to the latest version of the files that Steam has in their servers. And if it finds missing or corrupt files, it will attempt to download them and replace them which is why it works a lot. I'm not saying it's 100% works every time. I'm saying that it works a lot, and I just explained to you why it works a lot. So that's the first one. Now let's move on to our second um, fix for Steam issues. All right, now we're on to our second fix. This one is running games in Windows 8 compatibility mode. This is really useful if the game that you're trying to play is an older game or if you upgraded from an older version of Windows to 10. If you're not on Windows 10, this could even work too. This is just an option. So we're going to go to our file explorer. You're going to want to go to your, you know, the Steam directory, which for me it's in my D drive. Software directory, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Steam. Then once you're here, you're going to want to go to Steam apps. Find the game in question under the common folder. has all your games you have installed listed here. Like I said, we're using Dino D-Day as our example game. So I'm going to go into Dino D-Day. And here's all of the, uh, the files. You're going to want to find the actual application itself, which is just Dino D-Day. You're going to want to right-click on it and go to Properties. So this is what you see when you're on Properties. Go to Compatibility. And you'll see this box that says Compatibility Mode. You're going to want to check it, and it's going to say Windows 8. If you want to try it, you can try Windows 7 if it's an even older game. But if you're playing a game from the Vista era, the XP era, you should just go to Windows 7 because that's the most stable build, the most recent, most stable build of Windows. Because Vista was trash, XP was very stable, but the most recent stable build is 7. So you can try Windows 8 or 7 depending on the age of the game. Then you're going to want to hit Apply right there. And okay. 
Very simple. Like I said, we're going from the most least complicated to most complicated. It's very simple. Um, but let's move on to our third um, potential fix for your issue. And now time to move on to our third solution. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to update your GPU drivers. This one is could work for any program or game, not just Steam games, because it's always important to have your hardware updated. So if you have a newer or any NVIDIA graphics card, you're going to use GeForce Experience. For AMD, you're going to use AMD Catalyst software. If that's still what it's called, I haven't had an AMD uh, video card in a long time, but it was called AMD Catalyst when I had one. So we're just going to open up GeForce Experience here. I didn't have a desktop icon, so I had to send it to desktop. When you first install it, you'll have a desktop icon. I don't know why I didn't have one, but you should have a desktop icon. Now, once you're in the GeForce Experience, it's pretty easy. You can go to Drivers and check for updates. As you see, as you can see, it will usually automatically pop up the most recent uh, game-ready driver right here. So you can check for updates if you want, or you can just download whichever one comes up. As you can see, you can also list your currently installed driver as well as the release date of that driver. So, you know, download new one, check for updates if you want, and just download your GPU updates that way. And it should be fairly simple for AMD as well. And I apologize, I can't show you how to do it for AMD because I don't have an AMD uh, card. But you can just as easily look that up if you don't know how to maneuver through the AMD Catalyst software. But number three, update your GPU. Make sure it's up to date. It's very important. Now on to our fourth and almost final. All right, now on to the fourth potential solution. This one is reinstalling or repairing uh, redistributables, which are required for the game to run properly. Uh, they consist of things like VC Redist or DirectX or sometimes .NET Framework, things like that that are basically required for the game to run properly. And sometimes they get installed wrong, they get corrupted, or they just don't get installed at all. Normally when you launch a Steam game for the first time uh, since the installation, it will install the redistributables when it's preparing to launch. But sometimes you got to take matters into your own hands. So there's two ways you can get to the uh, game directory. You can either go, you know, C Drive, Steam Apps, or Steam, Steam Apps Common, or you can actually go into Steam. And I'm going to show you how to get to the redistributables on two different games because it's not because each game directory is set up differently. So first we'll do Star Wars Battlefront 2. You want to go to Properties here, Local Files, Browse Local Files, and that takes you to your game directory. Now this game is very simple because it just has a folder that's underscore common redist. This would be the most common folder name. Sometimes it would just be redist. Sometimes it would be common redist without the underscore. You know, it kind of depends. But you see in here we have VC, redist, and DirectX. Just open the folders. And there's actually a DirectX setup right here. You want to run that because that would give you the most recent redistributable. And then uh, I'll go ahead and show you another game too. Since, like I said, not all games are the same, we'll use Call of Duty Black Ops 2 single player. Uh, you can do the same thing. You can go Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files, and you see for Call of Duty, it's just called Redist instead of Common Redist. But same thing, it's got DirectX and it's got VC Redist in here, or Redist, however you want to pronounce it, doesn't matter. It stands for redistributable. I want to see you say that, word's three, that word three times fast. But, you know, you just go in here, install DirectX for this game, if this game's giving you the trouble. But, uh, just reinstall them. And if they're already installed, but they're corrupted, and you run the installer, it will repair them. So, that's a common problem that leads to a lot of video-related issues and crashing. So, remember, step four, reinstall or repair redistributables. Now, on to the final and most complicated solution for... Steam game's not working properly. And now, the fifth, most complicated and surprisingly least known potential solution for fixing Steam games not launching or working properly. Now this one is a little trick where you can 
copy over the game files to a different directory, uninstall the game, reinstall the game, but then exit out of Steam mid-installation, drag and drop the backed up files back into the Steam directory, and then Steam, when you launch it again, will continue to try to reinstall it, and it will notice if your directory has missing or corrupt files and replace them. It's like a pretty difficult verifying integrity of game cache, but sometimes, like I said, that verifying is the most common, but it doesn't always catch it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that real quick, because I know it sounds complicated, but it's really not. Um, we'll want to go to our Steam directory. So we're going to use Dino DJ again, because it's a fairly small game. So right-click, Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. Then you're just going to highlight all of this and copy it to another directory, like a backup. I made a Dino D-Day backup folder here in my software directory, and we'll just drop all that stuff in there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to when it's done moving all the files over, because I don't want to sit here and talk for a minute and a half. But I will be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Everything was copied over to my Dino D-Day backup folder. And what I'm going to do so I'm going to go to Steam here. I'm going to go to Dino D-Day here. And you can uninstall, or even better, local files, uninstall. Either way works. Just just uninstall the game. So I'm just going to go ahead, uninstall Dino D-Day. Uh, this will delete all Dino D-Day game content from this computer. This game will remain in your Steam library. You have to re-download its content. Do that. Uninstall Dino D-Day. So right now it's uninstalling Dino D-Day. And what I like to do is I like to go ahead and open up Task Manager while it's doing this. Because this will be the easiest way to quit Steam. So Steam Bootstrapper is right there. So the easiest way to do this is go ahead and go find Steam. There's all my NVIDIA stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steam Client. Service Client right there. So what you're going to want to do Install it, same directory, create start menu, hit yeah, and then right as it starts allocating, wait till it actually starts downloading, don't like go deleting it when it's trying to allocate disk space. See it's at 0%, then what we like to do is close out of Steam. Let's close every single Steam anything. Do not let it finish downloading Dino D-Day. There we go. See? Steam is no longer open. I know I made that look a lot more difficult than I had to. You could just go down here, right click, end. But, stop Steam from installing it. So now the game's not fully installed, but it started. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take your Dino DA backup files, or your game, it's not going to be Dino DA guaranteed, go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common. Dino D-Day, see how it only started downloading some of the stuff? Well, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to paste all of that backup file back into your Dino D-Day directory. Now, like I said, I'm not going to sit here and talk for a minute and a half or two minutes or however long it takes. So I'm going to cut back whenever this is all done and show you the last step, which is the easiest step. Okay, I am back again. We have moved our backed up Dino D-Day, or whatever game you have, files, back into its original Steam directory. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Game Name, Game Files. So now we're safe to restart Steam. So we're going to restart Steam here, and I will show you what it will do. Connecting Steam account, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now once it's open, it says Dino D-Day is still queued, and it's going to resume downloading the game. Which, like I said, we already put the files back. So what it's doing right now is it's going to reinstall the files and it's going to overwrite any corrupted or missing game files. And it's more accurate and a lot more helpful than just simply verifying the integrity of the game files. So, like I said, it's the most difficult, but from the forums I've been reading and the people I've asked and even from personal experience, this has helped quite a bit more than just simply verifying the integrity of game files. I have used all of these methods 
to fix at least one game at one point in time over the last, you know, God knows how many years I've had Steam. So, it's going to finish installing, and then the game should work if it fixed the problem. That was five solutions on how to fix, you know, Steam games not running or crashing or black screening or whatever. So hopefully these fixes helped you out, and if they did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I've been trying to be more active in replying to a lot of comments, but I didn't anticipate how much traffic my connected but no internet access videos would receive, so I've been having a hard time, admittedly, keeping up with the comments. But um, just one little side note, uh, when I closed out Steam, I know I did it the difficult way. You can literally just go here, right click, exit. So do that when you close out Steam. It's a lot easier. But that being said, um, I hope these tips, these uh, potential fixes helped you out. Like I said, if they did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. There will be more content coming as I'm, you know, getting my things together. You know, had some stuff going on. You know, you know how life is. It just happens. But um, I'm Justin from Subboy Media. I hope this helped you out, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.